Hello, my friends of Tri City Community Television. Welcome and thank you to our sponsor, Hi Fi. Yes, we are having this program thanks to them. And uh, I wanted to welcome my guest today, Grace Sheen. And I am so proud all the time to talk about immigrants that create and make our community better. Welcome to my program. Thank you, Judith. I'm happy to be here. Uh, Grace, Tell me about you and how did you start with this project of find your own clinic and support our community? Well, I'm an audiologist and I have been for more than 28 years now. And a couple of years ago, a colleague and I decided that instead of working for someone else, we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to open our own practice and, and, and help our own community? I myself, I've been a resident of Port Coquitlam now for more than 25 years. And so I wanted to do something that would really help support the community. And I thought opening our own clinic uh, locally, helping our community, helping local residents to know more about hearing health is so important. And it's been so much fun to meet a lot of my neighbors, uh, people I've met over the years uh, through my children. Um, just being able to give back and do something good for the community. It's been wonderful. Thank you. Grace, uh, something really important in this is our health. And what is the perfect age for you to start checking your hearing? And how do you recommend, like, if, how we can notice if we really need to do a test? I'm really glad you asked that question. I feel like hearing is like the cousin that people don't think about. People know about their eyes and their teeth and people always go and get their eyes tested and teeth tested every year, but they don't think about their hearing. And hearing is something that is so fundamental for us to connect with people. So I encourage actually children to get their hearing tested, I encourage adults, I encourage seniors, everybody to get a baseline hearing test because you want to know where you're at so that if things change, you know what you can do to help yourself further on. So I recommend it as soon as you think about having it. Now, many times children do get their hearing tested anyway during school, uh, but for adults and seniors, I really recommend that you speak to an audiologist and have your hearing tested. Come down and see us at Network Hearing and uh, we can provide a hearing test. I had a question. I sell a lot of grants in our community. It is an special grant for seniors, for uh, people that low income and how they can get there because uh, sometimes these services can be out of the cost of the general public and the families, yes. That is true. So in BC, uh, children can get their hearing tested for free th through public health. Uh, but if they're concerned about a wait list, sometimes they do go through private clinics like ours. For seniors and adults, um, oftentimes you do have to go to a private clinic and pay for a fee. You can sometimes get it done through a hospital if you're being uh, seen by an ear, nose and throat specialist. But if someone needs to go to a private clinic to get a hearing test done, then um, if they can't afford the hearing test or if they can't afford the fees, mm -hmm. sometimes we can find out ways in which they may be eligible for some funding, either through some third parties or um, other sources. Some people, for example, if they're a veteran, if they're First Nations, or they've worked in noisy industry, they may have eligibility for services th through those third parties. But for others, um, we may need to look at other sources for, to help them out. And what is the perfect age? You mentioned that even children, and they also had that funding through the government and the system and our health system. What is the age that they, they start go into that test and what is the best for the parents to go once a year or twice a year? That's a very good question. So in British Columbia, we do have an early hearing screening program and newborn hearing screening. So any babies that are born in BC are automatically screened uh, a few days after they're born, which is great. And if there are any concerns, then, then parents can bring their child into a public health clinic to get their hearing tested or they can have it done through a local hospital. Now during the school years, they could be screened uh, during school 
or in the Tri-Cities, we actually have a hearing center located at Central Elementary School. There's a school-based audiologist there, oh. and she can actually provide hearing tests for children in the community in the Tri-Cities. So that's a really helpful service as well. But sometimes if a parent uh, wishes to have um, a hearing test done and they're concerned about maybe waiting, because it is certainly very busy in the public health system, private clinics like us can be very helpful. And what's good is that my business partner and myself, we're, we've been in the industry for a very long time. We certainly know our audiology and we love testing children. So we, we certainly are happy to see any child of, of any age. And then as for adults, um, you know, high school students, adults, post-secondary, seniors, we're, we always say to people, come down and see us for a baseline hearing test anytime that you're feeling um, interested because it's good to get uh, a baseline test. I wanted to congratulate you because uh, you are first generation immigrant. Yes. And I love to have uh, this opportunity to really talk about what immigrants are doing in our community and how they are providing their service, their knowledge. And um, thank you for doing that in our community. Thank you for offer that services and be so open to support our Tri-Cities area. And uh, thank you for being my program. Thank and uh, Tri-Cities Community Television is all the time talking about what is important for the families and how we can embrace our children especially. So thank you, Grace. Thank you so much, Judith. It's my pleasure to be here. And also, my friends, I just wanted to mention that it's really well located. It's in the intersection of Lockheed and Westwood, and it's in Westwood Center if you need any information extra, please visit our friend uh, Grace Jean and get in touch. It's important that we can listen, listen really well, all children and everybody around us. So take care of you, be happy, and be healthy. Bye-bye.